Rode. It, it was oh, dark. Yeah. I clicked in, sorry. I couldn't see. Okay, something dropped. Something went poof. And uh, now Liana and we are in big trouble, most likely. So let's see what happens. I must have toppled it over. What did you do? Oh. Oh. No. No, 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 no. This was mom's favorite. Quick, quick, get out the pieces. I ho just hope it didn't wake up mom. Yeah, that always works. 90% of the time. But, but there's so many pieces. How, how will we... Shh, don't worry. Just trust me, okay? I've got some glue over here. Uh, okay. There. Just hold it still. Careful. You're gonna... No, it's fine. We just need a little more glue, that's all. Oh, no. That seems fine. I, I I think that's perfect. Wonderful job. Mom's going to kill us. What do you mean us? You're the one who broke it. But you're always like this. Couldn't you just sit still and not ruin anything for once? Okay, that's uncalled for. Always just stand there with your mouth shut. I... I don't have to deal with this. Coward. <gasps> They're coming. So... Hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna say what I'm thinking right now, but let's see. I sleep this whole time. You tell her what you did. Dearest Heavenly Father, I just think, wish things were different. I wish that I could be different. I wish that I could be better. That's what I'm here for, isn't it? Mm, we can make things better. Yes, I would like that. What was that? Yeah, now, was that you just now? There it is again. Something is wrong. Good. Go! I need to go. She needs me. It's somewhere here. I know I heard something. You need to keep moving. That's right. Over there. Hello? Damn it, Holly. Going into strange rooms, hearing strange voices. This is all so weird. You want to scope the whole fucking area. What happened with that, Holly? It's different. That's true, it is, isn't it? It is different. That's probably why it feels so good. Kylie Taylor always gets into these kind of situations. Which, in training, Holly Beltron takes her first step into the dark hallway on a secret mission to find voices, I heard. 
when I was half asleep. Oh, Joy. Now that my head's clearing up, it does sound kind of stupid. Oh, boy. Just, what the hell were you thinking, Holly? Oh, oh no. Stupid, stupid, stupid! Ow! Ow, 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 ow. Ugh, damn it. G Gabriella? Holly? Is... Is that you? What are you doing here? Me? I'm supposed to ask you that. Well, I... Um... Awkward. What should I say? I read the truth, damn it. The sound. Didn't you hear it? The sound? What do you mean? Like some pounding noise? And I heard a voice. Like, like Liana's. Are you serious? You better not be screwing around with me, okay? Oh, she's scared of the dark. I wasn't. I... I was probably just hearing things. Scared of ghosts. I can't believe this. Anyway, let's just go now. What was that? Oh, I think that was just the floorboards. Are you sure? It sounded way too loud to be just floorboards. <laughs> I've never seen her like this. She's shaking all over. Oh. Oh. Wait a minute. Gabriella, are you... Are you scared of the dark? What? No. And you still didn't answer my question. Why'd you follow me? That's a stupid question. You just get up and leave in the middle of the night, leaving the door wide open. What the hell's wrong with you? So I spooked you, and you didn't want to be left alone? You are enjoying that a bit too much, Holly. Just a wee bit. No, I didn't say that. Oh, this is too good to pass up. Uh, no, we're not gonna scare her with a loud noise. <laughs> you sure you're not a tiny bit scared? Both of those options are really dick moves. Because the way I see it, you're either a liar or a coward. Okay, you know what? That does feel... Yeah. She kind of, she, she kind of deserved it, though. <laughs> I can't stand her. Yeah, yeah. The, the whole set of characters, I... I it's weird. Am I pushing this too far? Maybe, but who cares? I needed some of this. Then again, maybe we, we are her intrusive thoughts. You know, we, we are the intrusive thoughts that make her be like that. So maybe it's our fault and not the main character's fault that she's like that. Hmm? So it's gonna be like that, huh? Real mature. Look here, it's the middle of the night in an old convent. It's straight out of some horror movie. If anything, you're the one who's weird for not being a tiny bit terrified. Okay? Huh. Never thought about it like that. I guess I'm just used to sneaking around the house at night. When Mama and Papa were asleep, that was always the best time to play. The dark never really scared me. In fact, I kind of like it. It's the mornings that I don't like. Hmm. Brings to light all the little things you missed in the dark. Are you for real? Do you feel cool now? God. Ever think I might have just been concerned for you? Concerned for me? Right. Okay, okay, now... Something is happening here. Oh, I've tried, you know. Tried to be nice and friendly. But for some reason, you just don't seem to get it. <gasps> don't to get it please oh okay she just doesn't say it okay. please I know your type you're just pissed cause I saw right through your bullshit day one sorry I can't hear you why don't you come a little closer into this dark and scary room okay this is a huge shift in personality for her so you know she during the day, she wouldn't do shit like that, ever. 
And I don't think it's just, you know, to, to, to show Gabriela who is the boss. So th there's something else happening here. There's, there's, nah. I'm kind of relieved to see that behind that fake ass smile, you're just as immature as everyone else. Shut up! Quit acting like you know me because you don't! <laughs> I told you to stop. But that wasn't me. What was that? Okay. What is that? No, that's not right. What the fuck? What does this baby noise have to do with any of this here? Broken ceramic, ceramic. Splintered wood. A fallen statue. Pushed. A gust of wind. Just a gust of wind. Maybe a rat. That's... That's all it was. Things just look different in the dark, is all. Holly, please tell me that this is all just some joke. I didn't. I was just... That wasn't me. We should go. <sighs> what? Where's that coming from? It must be the nuns. I hear them praying every night. What are you talking about? It's been quiet here every night. Really quiet. Trust me, I would know. I'm a very light sleeper. What's making that sound? What the hell? It's, it's coming from outside. It's so close. So close. Let's get out of here. Behind us, in front of us. This, this is a joke. Come, please tell me this is one of your jokes. I swear I didn't. I couldn't do this. That's not. Where's it coming from? It's coming from nowhere and everywhere. Don't blink. Don't turn around now. It's just like when we were little, right, Liana? At night, when our parents were asleep, we'd walk around very slowly. Talking in whispers, playing our little games with toys that we hit so well. All the while careful not to make a sound. Because if we walked them, we'd hear the footsteps echoing across the house like thunder. And then, as fast as we could, we'd pack up all the toys and books, hands moving as fast as we could to fix the wet mess we made. Then we'd tuck ourselves underneath the sheets and listen. Hoping, praying that we left no sign that we were up. I was really good at staying still. Even if my heart was beating fast, if I took small enough breaths, light still. Perfectly still. Like a statue. Of course they did this, fuckheads. <laughs> Those fuckheads. Did that... did that all just happen? Well, Holly, look what you did. This is what you wanted. For things to be different. Isn't that right? 
An eerie procession. Achievement unlocked. Let's go. And so, as she crossed the softwood bridge, Kylie whispered a goodbye under her breath. At the very least, I've got one heck of a story to tell Farley once I return to the orphanage. I'm sure she's missed me, Kylie said, feeling the warmth of her spell key against her palm. She had a skip in her step and a smile on her face, knowing the forest was not so dark after all. Not in the slightest. The... The end. Wait, that's it? But... But she's coming back to Witchwood, right? What about the Bright Queen? She's... She's still alive. I'm sure of it. Also, what gives? Farley was only in the first chapter. She better have a bigger part in the next book. <laughs> huh? Holly, are you... Are you crying? What? No. No, I'm not. Aww. You liked it. Hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Sh shut up. <laughs> I'm glad I was right. I knew you'd like it. <laughs> okay. How, how did this go again? This place. This room. I was never comfortable there. But moments like these... Is this... Is this what home feels like? No rules, no shouting, no pressure to be someone else? To be anyone other than me. Holly, are you okay? I... You've always been happy here, Holly. Y yeah, that's right. Remember what you told her? So mm. it was it was just so good. Oh my god, in the last part, Archwitch Elaine was the bright queen the whole time. My mind was blown. Oh oh, and the ghost of her parents coming up at the end to teach her the wishing spell. Yeah, and Perdita using time magic. And when Cyrene came in the end to help out, oh, so good. <laughs> I was gonna say something now, but I'm not. So, yeah. <laughs> and girls through and through. We, we've got to get our hands on the next book. Oh, and I've also got to get one of those spell keys. I saw some at the bookstore the other day. Every proper witch has to have one. Mom's never gonna let us buy it, though. Oh. Yeah, you're right. Mom was just complaining about it the other day. A movie that's gonna send more children to hell. And how we shouldn't watch it because it's spreading the devil's message. Holly, is it going to be like this forever? Thankfully not. M maybe one day... When we're old enough, by then we'd be too old for this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Kylie's a pretty lucky girl, isn't she? Getting taken away to Witchwood, having her whole life turned around. I keep wishing that any day now, someone would come knocking, show up at our front door, hand me my very own spell key, and I'd go off on a magical adventure somewhere far away, far from all this. Even if it's scary or dangerous, I don't care. I take it all, first chance I get. You'll take me with you, right? I won't end up like Farley, left alone while her sister goes out on an adventure. Of course not. You'll be with me every step of the way. <laughs> I've got an idea. What are you doing? Give me a second. And if I just tape this here, uh -huh. check it out. <laughs> mm. Forged by the changelings from Hay Spider Silk and imbued with the breath of spring. I know it's not much, but at least it's something, something to call our own. 
while we wait for something amazing to happen. <laughs> the twist of a key, a heartfelt secret, and a little push. That's all it takes to get to Witchwood. Well, in the words of the Fey Prince, trouble always finds a way. Give me a second. Aha! Here we go! Ooh, what's that? Well, for now it's just a simple box. But all the things that we want, all the things that they'll never let us keep, we can put it all in here. So everything is gone once they find it. Okay, that's a wonderful, wonderful idea, Holly. Then we hide it. Somewhere Mom will never find it. They will always find it. R really? Yeah. We just need a good hiding place. Bit by bit, we'll build a collection of our own. And it all starts with this spell key. <laughs> I'd like that. But until then... <clears throat> For my first spell, I cast upon you the Bitter Bloom Curse! <laughs> what? what? <laughs> hey! No! No tickling! No! Stop! <laughs> Please! I can't... I can't breathe! Another layer of paint to cover up all the stains and flaws. Till it's just right. Dearest Heavenly Father, I had the most curious dream last night. I dreamt of her, Mother Idolora. We were in this very room, and all the seats were filled with my sisters. She was saying something, something very important. But her words slipped through like air and, before I knew it, turned into a song. And there we all were, singing. Our voices rang through the hallways like a choir of angels. Just like the old days. Oh, Heavenly Father, many a saint has heard your voice through their dreams, which makes me wonder. What could it all mean? Um. Of course, of course, God has it all planned out. Obviously, duh. All this time, patiently caring for this convent, fixing these statues, for years and years, there's a point to it. A reason. There always and has to be a reason. Day, we inch a bit closer to the next part of the beautiful story that he's written. Hey, look for the future. Look to the future, even. I feel so much better now. A new day is upon us. Rejoice. It's a new day. Yes, it is. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Psst. Holly. Such a nice dream. I don't want to wake up just yet. Not now, Liana. What? Who the hell's Liana? <laughs> wake up. Hydrate, that's a very good point actually, thank you. I'll do that. Give me one second. I'm really happy this is voiced. So it's not too hard on my voice. And I don't have to, you know, drink every five seconds, so that's helpful. 
Thanks again, Yumi. I'm going down to check it out. I, I'll go with you. Sure. Hey. About what happened last night. <laughs> Never mind. Maybe later. No. No, no, no. It's coming from from the room last night. Look at you now. She sculpted this herself. And painted. I believe. Oh. oh, she loved this one so very much. Hand painted. Oh my god, Kate just ran me off a cliff and I lost one million runes. <laughs> yeah, good boy. Such a good boy. <laughs> Bev, I'm sorry. So sorry. Um, Sister Adira? <laughs> Oh, good. Sister Annalyn, I need you to... Uh... One we one in PvP, loser? What? The fuck? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, you. <clears throat> yes, of course. You two. F forgive me. No. I seem to have lost track of time. My mind, it wanders sometimes. Is everything okay? Of course not. Just look at this. <laughs> You're either a coward or a liar. What is it? <laughs> Broken and <clears throat> shattered. How? How did this happen? Well, there you go. You can 1v1 jewels. <laughs> it wasn't me. It really was not. I'm that kind of a new idea you don't want to meet. Elden Ring PvP is trash. Yeah, then why are we even talking about it? Come on. I'm, I'm having a hard time just playing through Elden Ring, okay? But don't be, don't be a dick to me. I'm, I'm still trying to enjoy the game, okay? <laughs> Invaders belong into a pot of acid. Just with a nun here. Yeah. It just fell all on its own. Sister Adira, will you see? What do I even tell her? Do I tell her what we saw? Where would we even begin? Tell her the truth. Like she'd ever believe me. But I should at least try. Maybe break into it to her gently. Will you see? There's something very wrong with this place. I know this is gonna sound crazy, but I think this place is haunted. <laughs> well, so much for that. And I know how stupid that sounds, but but look, you need to believe us. We went down here last night, and the the statues they were moving. Excuse me? You can ask Holly. I swear I'm not making this up. Holly, tell her. Back her up, damn it. Holly? Is this true? Back her up. Don't, don't say nothing. Yes. Thank you. But what did you see? Details. I, I need to know the details. Well, we also heard chanting. What kind of chanting? Like... Like prayers. Everywhere. Like it was coming from the convent itself. <sighs> now, here's the part where I'm really, really hoping you've got a logical explanation for what we just saw. Anything to just explain what we saw the other night. <sighs> hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Luke 130. Sister Adira, what are you... <sighs> what you have just described to me fits many of the miracles we've recorded throughout history. Uh-huh. Concrete statues. 
their lips moving as if in prayer. Accounts of the Virgin Mary weeping tears of blood. <laughs> that, that reminded me of the thing that happened in real life, too. It ended up just being like, what What was it? Uh, just uh, shitty water or something? Or shit water? Something like that? And people were drinking that? Uh, uh, I don't know. Perhaps you are hearing the calling. Though still, we can't be too sure. Excuse me? What we saw? It definitely wasn't a miracle. And you believe yourself to be an expert on that matter, Gabriella? Oh, I'll be back into shitting on her now, yeah? Well, no, but... Haunted was the word I believe you used? Oh, dear child, there's no such things as ghosts. When we pass, our souls go to one of two places, heaven or hell. Oh, fucking hell. Sorry, that, that needed to go out. <clears throat> and from what you've told me, we just might be fortunate enough to find ourselves in the presence of angels. Mm. That can't be true. Could it? Wow. Just... Wow. There's no changing your mind, is there? Well, in the coming days, hopefully I can change yours. There are records. Records and books on this matter. Right here in this very oh, room, if I'm not mistaken. I'm sorry. Though it seems uh, I have let this place go. Well, no matter. I have two able-bodied young women with me. Yes. Yes, that is something we can do. A good first step. <clears throat> Starting today, I'd like you to assist me with fixing up this convent. Starting with this room. Outside, to the left down the hallway, is a closet. Get us some mops and brooms. Whatever. As for my dear Teresa here, I shall pick up the pieces. This will take weeks of work, but if what she said is true... And this all better be fixed by the time. <sighs> That's all right. It's all right, Adira. Just like our dream. It's a sign. Yes. Mm -hmm. God has it all planned out. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, I will do it then. I'll put you back together. So she can see the fruits of my labor. And it will all be perfect. Not a single crack. Almost like it never happened. Sister Adira? Let her be. I'll just be on my way, sister. You missed nothing, really. You're just more me being annoyed at her being like, Yeah, there are no ghosts. When you die, your soul goes to either heaven or hell. And, you know. And now we're cleaning up the fucking castle with brooms and whatever. Oh. So, yeah. Whatever happened to your little friend? We tried, and we pried until his, his horn was all but gone. But it wasn't enough, was it? It what? You cried, but we still did it. Because we cared for you. We needed to try. We needed to make sure the horns were all gone. Holly, I could really use a hand here. Yeah. Yeah, sh sure. Coming. An eerie recollection. Okay. Yeah, that's odd. Careful. Careful now. You don't want to drop that. Put it right over there. Okay, we're back to our bullshit now. <laughs> Oh, that wasn't the last of it. There you go. Oh, just look at that. Looking better already. It still looks like shit. 
Um, Sister Adira, if we're gonna mop this side, I think we're gonna need to move some of the tables over here. Yes, yes, move them to the sides. Gabriella, can you handle that part of the room? Gabriella? Yeah, sure. Very good. As for those boxes over there, Holly, kindly stack them onto the side. Sure thing. Hmm? There's all sorts of old documents here. March 24, 1976. I am fortunate to hear wit bear witness to the workings of a living saint. As such, I have decided to compile my experience here. Hopefully one day my words can serve as proof that we were witness to something special here. I had a talk with Mother Idolora this morning. She was doing her usual rounds. As I stepped foot into the cloister, in the cloister, I felt a gentle breeze upon me. I noticed too the flowers blooming with such vibrant colors. It is amazing how with such minimal care, nature itself seems to blossom while in her presence. As I reported on the statue of the young girls under our care, she asked me what I thought it was we were doing here. Or oh, the status, not the statues. Okay. I'm fortunate to be with her. Yeah, I just read that. 76, that's ages ago. It's not good to snoop around like this. But. Little peak doesn't hurt. Okay, that's what I just read. Mm. The play oh wait, that's new. Okay. That doesn't even stand there. What? This place shall become heaven on earth, a place where even death itself would lose all meaning. Though our bodies are frail, our prayers and our teachings will live on the sacred hallways. When I asked her how this was to be possible, she merely smiled and said, God shall make it so. I am so fortunate to be alive in this wondrous time. Mm. I wonder if... What are you looking at? Prying eyes. Oh, Let's go. I, I just found some old papers. Let me see. Uh-oh. Oh, I almost forgot about these. I compiled them myself, you know. All those years ago. Hmm. Pass me that stack over there, will you? I will take these back to my study. They will be... Helpful in the coming days. Mm. Please continue cleaning the room. And Holly, these documents are convent property, and as such, it is ill manners to go looking through them without permission. <laughs> I may not always be watching, but God always knows. God always knows. Yes, sorry. I mm -hmm. remember that. See to it that you do. Oh, yeah. I wonder what else was written there. It sounded interesting. So, I gotta talk about what just happened? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think happened? You know how in movies, the kids tell the adults they've seen a ghost or something, and then no one believes them? I kind of wish that happened. Because now, well, I don't know what exactly is going through her head, but this is all just wrong. To be honest, I'd rather pretend it was all just a bad dream. It's easier to just forget, you know? But that's the thing about bad dreams. They don't just go away after one night's rest. Yeah, but it's all so strange. But... Uh, kind of exciting, isn't it? But don't you think it's also a bit exciting? Are you serious? Okay, hear me out. Just think about it. What we saw last night was something scary, but it was also something different. Something special. She's not getting it. How do I put this into words? Sounds like... Magical. Yeah. It sounds almost... Magical. Like... 
Like in the Queens of Half Night. We know she read it, so uh, that's why I chose that one. When they spotted the white wolf prowling along the east wing, it was up to Kylie and her friends to figure out what was going on. There's always some sort of mysterious incident that binds the characters together. And I mean, it's not like we were hurt or anything. I don't believe this. <laughs> I'm just saying, what about you? Have you ever seen anything like it before? No. And if I had it my way, I'd never want to see anything like it again. But just think about it. You mentioned movies. Maybe it's just like that. Or like in a book. Or any story for that matter. The heroes find something mysterious. Something they can't explain. And then they work together to find out what it is. Like it or not, that's kind of the situation we're in. The movies I was thinking of were the ones where people die. You know, horror movies. Newsflash, Holly. The world isn't some fairy tale. But... I mean, it could be. Jesus! <laughs> you just believe anything they want you to, don't you? No, it's not like that. I'm just saying... Did you hear her back there? All this talk of miracles and angels and demons. Well, I'm not saying she's right, but who knows? Maybe she's on to something. If there's anyone who might have an idea, it's her. Adira is an old woman who... who believes in a lot of things. And the last thing she needs right now is someone encouraging her. Ugh! I can't do this! It's bad enough that I'm spending my summer stuck here, but now... this! I did not sign up for this. And why'd you even come here last night? Are you just trying to scare me? Is that it? No! It wasn't like that! Well, congrats. You succeeded. And look where we are now. Here we go again. I cannot believe this. Okay, deep breaths, Holly. Calm down. Fighting isn't going to solve anything. Look, let's just calm down. I am calm! I'm really sorry if I made you mad. Please, you apologize all the time, and you never mean it. She's not listening. Just calm down, Holly. Calm down and tell her what you're thinking. Is that so hard? You've already seen ghosts. After that, this doesn't seem so scary. Maybe. Maybe you're right. I do say sorry a lot, don't I? So I'll stop that. You don't like me. I get it, and that's fine. I honestly don't like myself that much either. <laughs> it must be nice. Nice to be able to look people in the eyes and talk back and sneak things in and get into all sorts of fights like it's nothing. But that's the thing. I can't be like you, but I'm not the source of your problems here, okay? Whatever you did to land yourself here, that's on you. Oof. Okay. It's not my fault you got caught going to your wild parties where you do drugs and make out with boys or whatever. <sighs> there. I said it. Is that why you think I'm here? I... Well... First off, even if I did do all those things... There ain't anything wrong with that. Mm -mm. But I never snuck out to any wild parties, never did drugs, and I never made out with boys. It was a sleepover. I confessed. She didn't feel the same way. <gasps> the look on her face, I'll never forget it. Next thing I know, the talk of the school. Rumors everywhere. And of course, they reach my mom. That's it, okay? And if you still think that somehow that's all my fault, I've got nothing more to say to you. I... I'm really sorry. That... That does suck. It's just like them, isn't it? Another one of their rules, their beliefs that, that hurt people. 
that hurt us. <laughs> That's the thing. My family. We weren't born into the faith. When my dad passed away, Mama just... I guess she just needed something. Anything. To fill the void. And then... Well... It started with a friend. She told her about the lovely and supportive community they mm. had. And I suppose they told her the exact type of stories she wanted to hear. And so... Just like that... I was enrolled in a new school. New traditions. New community. <laughs> Ended up working out really well for her. But not for me. I used to be Gabby to her. Now... Just... Gabriella. So forgive me for being a bit skeptical when it comes to people like you. And Adira? <laughs> oh. I know her type. Someone like me is never gonna get in her good graces. People like that... They can be pretty stubborn. That's putting it lightly. Come on, she's had me pegged from the moment I got here. <sighs> so... I made up my mind as soon as I stepped foot at this oh-so-holy convent. I'll just give her exactly what she's expecting. <sighs> as to just show them what they want to see early on. Spare them the disappointment. You're not wrong. The fall's real bad when people don't see it coming. Is that what happened to you? That's not... I'd rather not talk about it. Oh, come on. This is the confession room right now. <laughs> you know what? Whatever. Uh. It's getting real stuffy in here. I'm gonna take a break. Wait! There you go again, Holly. It's always like this. So what's it gonna be, Holly? Just gonna stand there with your mouth shut like you always do? Damn it. Okay, um... This seems like a good separate thing where we can stop for today. Um... This seems like the best... It's not a day-night cycle thing, but, you know. Uh, we played three hours of this game now. Uh, we have about two or three more to go, at least. So I would say that would be a good uh, point to stop for today. Um, first thoughts... Uh, second thoughts... Uh, fuck. Anyhow. <laughs> Um, we're getting into the ju uh, uh, into the juice at the moment, so um, I think that's a perfect way to stop for today. Um, we we're getting into the gist of it. Like the statues are probably like whatever uh, the the all the saints or whatever, and they're just praying and haunting the place or whatever. I don't know. Um, and uh, yeah, so this game is a weird one. I'm. I don't hate it, but I, I, I hate the characters, <laughs> most of them at least. Like the the closest I enjoy is uh, Gabriel and the strange nun that um, welcomed us first. But I feel like there's like plot twist with her going on, with the brown haired lady, the brown haired nun. Something is up with her. So um, we're probably gonna find out next time. So. Yeah, let me see if there's someone online who want who I want to raid. If not, that's completely okay. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's raid into that by daylight. Uh, I'm recently in the, into that by daylight again, and I feel like playing that by daylight every once in a while. So say hi to Sarah. We have raided them. Hold on, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Um, we're gonna raid Sarah, VTuber, Dead by Daylight, Content Creator, yada yada. Um. Uh, bananas. Most of you know them already. If not, say hi from me. That's fine. Have a wonderful one, everyone. And I'll see you on Monday with more Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep Wondrous One-Shot Adventure. Ha! I got it first.